you go up to infowars.com there is a headline secret globalist treaty threatens internet freedom and this is being reported by the Electronic Frontier Foundation, by Tech Dirt, by Drudge, by others. But Infowars.com has it. Kurt Nemo's written about it. Secret globalist treaty threatens Internet freedom. And we've been hammering this for months. David Knight's been focused on it uh, predominantly here at Infowars and on the nightly news. Leanne McAdoo's been focused on it as well. No one could get the treaty. You've got all these Asian Pacific countries, the EU, the U.S., North American Union, tying these three trilateral commission super unions together, they're meeting, and no one can find out what's happening in the meetings. No transparency. And now, uh, via WikiLeaks, the documents have been leaked to WikiLeaks. And I think it's important you leak to WikiLeaks, but that could be compromised as well. Leak to a lot of different outfits when you leak, folks. But I'm glad they leaked to WikiLeaks. Just like we were leaked these documents on what was happening with the white boxes in Seattle and what they really did. And now we know, at least in, 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 in a portion, of exactly what is going on. And again, the story with the documents, 30,000 word documents spelling out details of an internet freedom killing economic system that, that picks winners and losers. Unbelievable. A US-EU transatlantic trade deal merging with these different Asian union systems and joining us is Leanne McAdoo uh, and David Knight here to break it down but first I want to play a report from Monday two days ago before we got the documents where Leanne breaks down exactly what's going on and the bounty that was put out to get somebody to send the documents for money from the inside on what was happening at these huge meetings that thousands of people have been attending for years that no one is able to find out what's happening with corporations and our governments meeting to decide our future outside of Congress. Here it is. The Trans-Pacific Partnership is a proposed free trade agreement that will literally sign the globe over to corporate control. And as it stands, we the people who will be most affected by this contract won't be able to see how our sovereignty and our planet is being raped and ransacked in the name of potential profit margin until it is too late. TPP negotiations have taken place under a freakish cloak of secrecy, denying all but a very few any input into the terms of the agreement. The only people who have had access to the negotiations are 600 advisors, none of whom work for Congress, and 500 of which are corporate lobbyists. Even though the press, the public, and most members of Congress haven't seen details of the negotiations, the Obama administration hopes to fast-track the TPP by the end of this year. And the Obama administration has categorized the deal as classified information. Congressman Alan Grayson was permitted to review the document after filing a Freedom of Information Act. However, he was not allowed to comment on it. Here is what he did have to say about the TPP. The result will be so soon evident to everybody. When the agreement does get released, you'll see massive giveaways of our sovereignty, um, massive efforts to undermine the middle class in this country, massive efforts to keep us from making the decisions that we need to do to make ourselves safe, to keep ourselves healthy, and to actually have the kind of life we want to have. Why? Because we've given the entire process over to special interests. It's no longer even properly called a trade agreement. Uh, it's an anti-sovereignty agreement. It has very little, if anything, to do with trade at this point. And the fact that something like this can be negotiated in secret for over three years it is an indication of how far our standards have fallen. Uh, I can't remember any time earlier in our history when we would have done this. I can't remember any time earlier in our history when we'd even make an effort to say that we couldn't have amendments on the floor of the House or the Senate about something that's so crucial to the way that we conduct our lives in the future. So what's so bad about the Trans-Pacific Partnership that it's being labeled as NAFTA on steroids? Well, the chapters that have been leaked reveal plans that would threaten public health, the environment. Are you an Internet user? Of course you are. Well, forget about CISPA, SOPA, and PIPA. The TPP rolls all those regulations up into one global agreement that totally circumvents domestic laws. 
file downloads could be criminalized and your internet service provider would become a copyright enforcer, meaning your ISP address could monitor and police your every move using a three strikes system. After those three strikes, your access to the internet could be cut off, including your own personal website, which could be deleted. And the TPP's rules on copyright infringement directly affect anyone who shares information via the web. Fair use exceptions could be severely restricted, effectively crippling any sharing of news and videos via YouTube and other platforms. Pharmaceutical companies can institute longer patents that would preserve their monopolies and reduce access to affordable medications. The TPP includes foreign investor protections, which could help corporations offshore jobs. Negotiations include financial deregulation and loss of oversight that could lead to even worse financial meltdowns than what we've experienced. And perhaps the most crippling to sovereign countries, foreign corporations could pummel nations financially if that nation considers a domestic law that will curb expected future profits. For instance, if a country refuses to grow GMO crops, Rather than respecting that nation's sovereignty, biotech giants can sue the country for cutting into their profits and then international tribunals could impose economic sanctions on that country until their ban on GMOs is lifted. This is a huge concern for citizens all over the world, so why aren't these contracts being made available for public review? Well, a group hopes to do a little crowdsourcing and expose this contract. Just Foreign Policy has launched a free TPP campaign to reward WikiLeaks if it is able to make the negotiating text of the Trans-Pacific Partnership public. So far, the group has raised more than $50,000 from concerned citizens who refuse to acquiesce while corporate cronies decide our fate. We have got to call our representatives and demand that they find out what is inside the Trans-Pacific Partnership. We have to know what's in store for us so we can do something about it before it is too late. Reporting for the InfoWars Nightly News, I'm Leanne McAdoo. All right, and there's the report from Monday. Uh, now uh, WikiLeaks has gotten the document. Looks like the bounty worked. And uh, here we are now with the text of it, and it takes over vitamins, minerals, jobs, Internet. Uh, foreign corporations run these meetings. We've gotten them before from the uh, Banff Canada SPP meeting in 2007. That's in my film Endgame, where it literally just turns everything over to foreign interests and to select corporations who can then come in, shut down their competition, you name it. This stuff is all written to pick winners and losers. And uh, David Knight, go over a laundry list for folks of exactly what's in this text that's now on InfoWars.com. Well, Alex, this is, to clarify things, this is not the entire agreement. It's this only a boil down. Is, this is, well, this is the entirety of one chapter that deals with medicines and copyrights. Uh, there are going to be 28 other chapters that we haven't seen. Okay, so they're, they're going to cover things like energy, food safety, whether or not we have GMO labeling. That's going to be determined not by the people, not by the governments. That's going to be determined by these multinational corporations and their lobbyists operating in secret. So you mentioned Agenda 21, but unlike Agenda 21, this, I think, is even as, as they're trying to be very, very secretive, they're actually exposing what they're all about by the fact that they're doing this all in secrecy. By it's corporate it's, global governance. Exactly, and this is a top-down, centralized imposition on people, whereas Agenda 21 is a lot more subtle. They, they kind of come at you from the grassroots, and they, they have this long list of things that, that would be good for you to adopt, a good agenda. And then they put in, uh, with this reincorporation technique, they put that in at the local level, whereas this is something that people can really see the global corporatist agenda in operation because they see the secrecy, they see the centralization, they see that it's top down. This is something that, uh, as, as one guy from Public Citizen said, the Obama administration's shameful bullying on behalf of giant drug companies would lead to preventable suffering and death in Asia and Pacific countries. He said it's much worse than anything that the Bush administration had done. And remember that this TPP started in 2010. Of course, they've been doing this. They've had the blueprint for global takeover through trade agreements for decades, going back to the very first Bilderberg meeting. That was about creating the EU and the Euro. So this has been secretly set up by Bilderberg Group and other uh, organizations like that meeting in secrecy, but now they're actually putting it in practice. So now they're coming up with the actual nuts and bolts. That's right, and again, then they have the UN grassroots rent -a mob AstroTurf to roll out locally to clamor and support the top-down vertical integration to make it look like it has grassroots support. Mm -hmm. So those two lock together 
uh, in a combine. Yes, yeah, multiple fronts. They're coming from both directions, from the bottom, you know, this fake grassroots, as you mentioned, this AstroTurf, as well as imposing this from the top. The amazing thing is, is that that elected leaders from states can't see this. Ron Wyden, you, you just saw the clip in Leanne's report of uh, Alan Grayson, but Ron Wyden also tried to get information about it. After a lot of pushing from him, they would let him come and look at it. He couldn't talk about any of the details. He couldn't let his staff. Congressmen can't tell the American people what agreements are being made. This, this is global governance. Leanne, since you filed your report, we've learned more. You've read over the document. You've got a lot of stuff highlighted there. Yeah, well, that's the thing. It's not up for debate. They don't want anyone, it's not transparent because if people knew what was going on, they would stop it. If, if our elected representatives were allowed to see the text, they would have to do something about it. And right now, it's, you know, maybe they just are too elitist, they're not going to face retribution. For well, this is global that. government. I mean, this is outrageous. Absolutely. That's what this thing does. It circumvents domestic laws and, and puts everything over to international tribunals, which will, it'll be international laws that will decide. So if a country decides they're not going to grow GMOs or like what we're seeing in Quebec, they, they don't want fracking there. Well, now these corporations can go in and sue countries or cutting into their expected future profits. And they could say, oh, well, you don't want to grow GMOs or let us frack in your country, then we're going to sue you because you're dipping into our profits. And it's not going to be held in a public court. So even though they're going to be paid, uh, if the country you know, will have to pay with taxpayer dollars, it's not a public court that it's being tried in. It's, it's a private, Secret secretive court. Court. No, it's their court. Yeah. They do this all the time. And, and then they come in and, and literally say, you're not allowed to have your own city run water thing that was already paid for. That competes with us unfairly. You've mm -hmm. got to sell it to us. Right. Mm -hmm. They call them investor state tribunals. So what they've done is they've elevated these multinational corporations. And understand that when we talk about corporations, Local corporations, domestic corporations, don't have the kind of standing that the multinational corporations have. So they come in as investors, they have a tribunal, they have equal status, or you could argue superior status, to the state. Sure, well, you read over this stuff, it's it's the corporations and they're writing it, then the politicians that are bought and paid for ratify it. Stay there, I want to come back after the break, guys. Okay, folks, we're going to go to break and come back with uh, more of this information. Uh, please don't forget that this is a listener-supported uh, transmission and broadcast. Uh, and it is really essential for all of you to continue to spread the word about the show. It's growing by leaps and bounds. And also remember, we're listener supported. You can go to InfoWarsStore.com and get the very best gravity-fed filters out there, the stainless steel Pro Pure and Pro One systems, uh, the entire uh, product line there at the lowest price anywhere already. But with promo code WATER20, you get 20% off the already lowest price. Ladies and gentlemen, this is 20% below what anybody else has it. Stop drinking all the glyphosates and fluoride and the rest of it. Take action today. Uh, that's InfoWarsStore.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139, 253 And we do have more of it in now. It had sold out. We have more of the proprietary InfoWars Life uh, Survival Shield that detoxes the fluoride, protects the thyroid. InfoWarsLife.com. Are we choosing our own destiny, or has it been pre-selected for us? As we've moved through history, every great leader has had to understand the potential of information. Billions of dollars have been spent privately and publicly looking at how to tap into your psyche. From compulsory state education to the Hollywood media brainwashing machine, we are kept in perpetual bondage to the ideas that shape our actions. When somebody obscures that feedback loop between you observing and testing it out and verifying it, they can take total control of your awareness. All of this is happening so fast, you need to be ahead of the game. How to engineer the opinion of the American people so that they would not only endorse, but demand a war. Right, right. Oh, there's another one. Another plane just hit. State of mind, because there's a war on for your mind. Get your copy of State of Mind, the movie, at InfoWars.com. And remember, every order at InfoWarsStore.com receives a free citizen rulebook. So if you go up to InfoWars.com... You can see it uh, linked in red up there. Uh, secret globalist treaty threatens internet freedom. And we've got uh, 30,000 uh, words out of just one chapter of the plan. 
and uh, we know some of the leaks of the, of the open internet censorship where a company just says that you 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 might have infringed and you're banned from the internet forever after three strikes it's it's the youtube model and uh you know you go up there and you make a parody of the nsa and show their symbol uh and then they say oh that's that's uh infringing on us you're banned you can already see their model on facebook twitter and youtube and you say well just don't go on those sites no no no. no. this is for the whole internet now censoring you at the point as your info goes over the routers this is what Wired Magazine's reporting. It's what we're reporting. This is what it does. They're not, this is the establishment's answer to the technocracy they've allowed to be built, which we could use to have freedom. They want to use to dominate us. Leanne, other points in your analysis. Well, this particular chapter, we obviously, it's a lot of pages. We haven't gotten to all 95 of them, but uh, the intellectual property, it's going to affect anyone that uses the internet, anyone that uploads any videos to YouTube and they have to go through the fair use or copyright laws, uh, specifically medicine. Uh, I know a few months ago there was a big thing that they wanted to patent human genes uh, because in breast cancer research, they said, we discovered that. Well, what that does is it makes it more expensive for women to receive treatment for breast cancer because a specific company will hold the patent on that and it won't let any of anyone else do any research and so therefore it keeps the prices high and that's exactly what is going to happen as these 500 corporate lobbyists are there at the table negotiating this quote that's right and obama has said that these treaties which they pass a treaty to allow this organization to be there but now that group breaks off as a rogue government they've said that that trumps the Supreme Court who properly ruled that you can't patent my gene mm -hmm. and then say no one else is ever allowed to do anything with that gene. That's outrageous. They're saying this is going to trump that. Exactly. And they're going to do that with medicines and they're, it's obviously going to keep the prices high. It's not going to lower the prices. It's not going to make it. It stops competition. Medicine. Exactly. Exactly. It and creates and, monopolies. And David was saying something about evergreening. So yeah, with with uh, with drugs, this is something that got put into the United States here with uh, Warren Hatch and and Waxman, the Hatch Waxman Act, called Drug Price Competition and Patent Term Restoration Act. Now, as we all know, the title is exactly the opposite of what it is. So instead of having drug price competition, they're eliminating competition on price. So it's like Affordable it's, Care Act is five times the cost. Right. <laughs> what it is is something they call evergreening, and it allows the Big Pharma, when they've got a uh, patented drug, and they get a long time on these patented drugs, but they want longer on them. So they want to stretch this out to infinity and beyond if possible. So what they do is they have a process of notification where you, the the generic drug manufacturer has to give notification to the company, notification to all these different people. Did you just quote like, Buzz Lightyear? <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's, they stretch this out a couple of years, it's just a notification process. So what they want to do is they want to export this technique the entire world for the benefit of big pharma and it's not just big pharma that's what we're seeing in this particular chapter but remember this is just one of 28 and by the way we deal with this just putting out things like high quality nascent iodine that's just on record so good where where they don't let nesty say that water hydrates you because drug companies don't want anybody to be able to say vitamin c cures scurvy and is good for your skin that's right of course it's an absolute fact but they've written all the rules and laws and turn loose bureaucrats to shut us down. Meanwhile, they can put drugs on the market that kill you on record and have mercury brain damaging kids. We're going to come back to five more minutes with you, then phone calls for folks that are holding third hour. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139.
five minutes in this segment. Leanne McAdoo and David Knight, reporters for InfoWorks Nightly News, weeknight, 7 o'clock Central, PrisonPlanet.tv. You're going to have more on this tonight, obviously. Who's hosting? You, Jakari? Jakari. Jakari. So we're going to have more on this tonight. But, Leanne, during the break, you were going into the Internet deal, what I mentioned. But give them the actual subsections on that. And then, David, run over those other final points uh, on this uh, draconian uh, tyranny. Well, you know, what this really shows, Alex, is that they talk about themselves as being stakeholders. Actually, they see themselves as being slaveholders and we're their slaves. And if anything comes out of this, nothing could be more clear than that Obama is not about transparency. Obama is merely a puppet of large multinational corporations. This agreement makes it perfectly clear. They've Next, had, you're going to say the sun came up this morning. That's right. They've had <laughs> at least 19 meetings on this. They said they were going to get this done by the end of the year. This all started under the Obama administration in 2010, this particular trade negotiation agreement. And this covers everything. The chapters that we got today are really a wish list for the for NSA, for Hollywood, and for Big Pharma. But there's stuff in there for all the big corporations. The bankers have their part in there to uh, stop any legislation that's going to rein in derivatives. We've got jobs being moved offshore. We've got food safety being taken away by Monsanto's interest. And we've got energy being uh, having a fork stuck in it. And the same groups want the borders open. Exactly. So this is what people need to understand. And a lot of people are starting to wake up, especially people on the left are very concerned about this. Predominantly because of this chapter that was released today that is essentially bringing in CISPA. You know, they tried ACTA, PIPA, CISPA twice. Now they're going to get this in through the TPP, the same things that they were trying to do as far as the ISP. Can't get it in Congress? We'll just do it internationally. Right. Do it internationally. Go over everybody's head. Leanne, you've got some of those sections. Right. Well, speaking about the ISP, so so file downloads could be criminalized, right? So now your internet service provider is going to be basically like the copyright police. So it's going to monitor everything you're doing online, and if you do anything that it doesn't like, it you it's a it uses. So a, it's spying on you, and they're already is, doing it. Yes. This just puts it into some type of law. It, and it gives you a three. It has a three strikes type system, and so if you break it, you know you break their rules three times. You're out. Get you're that? off the internet. You're banned. You're your banned. Website. Individually banned. You, know, you so. are banned. You, whatever computer you're. And website. that's why Microsoft's coming out with the internet ID. Google is unifying it all. It's all an NSA takeover, Greg. Mm -hmm. <coughs> well, remember that the internet was started by DARPA. It was originally a DARPA project. So maybe they've been, it's kind of been a uh, pump and dump strategy the entire time. <laughs> you're right. Continue. And also, too, uh, speaking about the offshoring of jobs, this basically it eliminates the buy American. So it allows foreign corporations to bid on contracts here. And they say, oh, well, that's good for the U.S. because we can go and bid on procurements contracts over overseas. No, it's opening up our borders, our countries, so that foreign countries can bid on contracts here. Well, these things are always selectively enforced. There's federal law that uh, most of the federal money has to go to small businesses. None of it does. I mean, it's all written to be selectively enforced. I mean, if you're Tyson Chicken, you can ship any chicken you out you, you want. If you're a small chicken operation, you do one thing wrong, you're all going to jail. But it's bringing everything together. They've mm -hmm. had regional trade agreements, as we talked about before. You know, Bilderberg. One of the first things they did was talk about the euro and the EU. And now that they've got NAFTA and they've got the uh, European Union, they're bringing these things together. That's what these these agreements are getting larger. And with the U.S. kind of at the central focus, we've now got the Trans-Pacific Partnership as well as the North Atlantic Free Trade. Uh, and they merge all three, as the Trilateral Commission said, yes. all three of the super unions together, destroy the old sovereignty and create 10 mega regions within the three. Yes, because they're I read that in a book was written a while back. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> Two thousand years ago. The actual process happening now that you've been talking about for decades. It's been going on for many decades. But we're really getting up to it. Real open corporate oh, yeah. world government. Yeah. yeah. And he's trying to fast track it to make this happen by the end of the year. So with like what another month? And the TPP, it represents forty percent of the global, the world's uh, GDP. But what Obama has initiated even beyond that is the transatlantic trade. Stay there. we got to talk about this, then we'll go to calls. This is Hello, this is Hank Hill, and I'm telling you what, you need to listen to Alex Jones. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Infoworth.com. Yeah. <clears throat> hey. <clears throat> Judge, what is the secret of the universe? <laughs> Infoworth.com. Yeah. <clears throat> Hey. 
Drudge is reporting Amnesty dead for now. That's in the Washington Times. I don't believe Maynard for a minute. Uh, at Infowars.com, poll shows that uh, almost half of Americans believe Obama knowingly deceived them. And again, that's going with the mainstream poll. How about 10% believe Obama? NSA can track your location even when your phone is turned off. Secret globalist treaty threatens internet freedom. Seattle police de uh, detective. Uh, the Seattle police have now come out and said that they have deactivated their spokesman, as the sergeant says, uh, the Wi-Fi spy grid after a privacy uh, outcry. So that's, that's big news, you'd think, but the uh, state-run media has not covered it. Also, schools' new spy system places children under complete surveillance. That is just some of the news up on Infowars.com. And Senator Cornyn from Texas uh, has just gone public uh, minutes ago uh, on Fox News and called for a banning and, and the abolishment of the Obama scaminator, excuse me, the Obama fraudinator, excuse me, the Obama gang takeover by criminal uh, forces. I I'm sorry. There's the actual headline. Put it back up for me. Uh, Cornyn calls for halt to Obamacare navigators on heels of undercover video that, of course, we first yesterday interviewed the head of the Veritas Project, James O'Keefe here. That's investigative journalism going to Democratic after Democratic office. Of course, they're supposed to be 501c3, tax-exempt, uh, nonpartisan groups administering and getting money to be the navigators. But you show up and it's literal, we salute Mao Zedong, we will get the guns, we're bringing Texas down, we're battlefield Texas, it's over, command force prepare, uh, up with Stalin. I mean, it is, it is Bolshevik revolution stuff. But they won't even get the Bolshevik revolution. It'll be worse than that with foreign banks robbing their family. But they don't care. Bringing America down is what it's all about, and they love it, love it, love it. I'm ranting. I said I'd go to your phone calls. Uh, Michelle uh, and Aaron uh, and uh, Annie. Is that Michelle or Michael? Uh, it's Michael. I I'm suddenly, like, the lights are in my eyes. At a certain point for two hours on air, I get to where I can't read anymore at a distance. Uh, Forrest, Jeff, Annie, Aaron, Michael, uh, and others. So that's all uh, coming up. I promise I'm going to your phone calls. But, but, but if I start ranting, it's because I'm marveling at just David Knight, uh, Leanne McAdoo, still in studio with us, really been covering uh, these different uh, partnerships, the, the EU, the North American Union, SPP, and the two Asian unions, all set up by the Rockefellers on record, all merging and Leanne, you were you were getting into that before the break cut you off, getting into these different partnerships that just circumvent America. Congress that is involved isn't allowed to tell the public. I mean, this is just outrageous. It's, it's just like the NSA spying is illegal. They, they just, as a government and corporate culture, they're committing mass crime against us, just setting the precedent by overwhelming us. And I think that's what they're doing. Uh, what do you think they're, well, finish your point, Leanne, and then I want to ask both of you, what do you think the in-game stratagem is here? I mean, do, do you think it's going well for team tyranny against team humanity? <laughs> well, they're definitely lambasting us with tyranny and, you know, <laughs> just one after the other. So it is kind of distracting. You're like, which which debacle do I deal with now? So, but I, <laughs> the point I wanted to make was that the TPP represents all the countries that are involved in the TPP represent uh, more than 40% of the world's gross domestic product. But Obama has initiated another, it's the TTIP, which will cover more than 60% of the world's GDP. So this is huge. So why is it not transparent? Why can't people do No one's it? talking about this on the news. Not the mainstream media. Lou Dobbs on Fox Business, maybe. And that's the thing. They literally are talking about the new tallest building in, in the U.S., Right. And you would think this would be news because this is something that's going to really affect domestic businesses, small businesses. They're not a part of this. They're not stakeholders. Mm -hmm. It's simply the multinational corporations. You look at Obamacare and you see how this is, people are realizing to some extent that they've been betrayed. They've been lied to about what's going on with Obamacare. And just like we saw the massive transfer of wealth that this guy is apologizing for from the Federal Reserve Banker. This Obamacare is an even bigger transfer of wealth than the TARP bailouts were. It's a much worse deal for everybody, and they're starting to realize it because of the website, because it's a mandate on them personally. 
it's much more difficult to get people to see these bigger issues. It's one of the reasons why I think WikiLeaks leaked this particular chapter, because it deals with medicine and it deals with privacy and the Internet. People can understand that. They're trying to get people to understand that. Other things like offshoring of jobs, letting the bankers run free with these derivatives, uh, shutting down energy, the food labeling issues, those are harder to get people involved in. But nobody is covering it except for the alternative media or what I like to call the authentic media. Yeah, what is the term? I mean, the the rebirth of the real media, uh, non-state run? I mean, well, what do you call us? I think it's authentic, is what I call it, because we talk about what we see. How about the, right how about the pro-human media? Yeah. How about the pro-justice reality media? I call us the reality-based community. Well, mm -hmm. you know, in terms of authentic, when we see something... We report it to the best of our ability. That's what you do. You know, you don't you don't make us, you don't filter this. We're able to go through and, and analyze something and talk about it. There's not an agenda that we have to follow that we can't talk about this. And the last thing the media Obama, exactly, that's, exactly. That's exactly. Different. The last thing the media, the establishment media wants is for us to connect the dots too. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. They don't want us to point out this is part of two other agreements all merging them together. They don't want us to point out that all the money that was given to the, the uh, Congress to, to sign on to this. Mm -hmm. but, but Congress can't just say, we now give our right to make law to this group forever. Mm -hmm. But that's what they They call it fast track. Exactly. Mm -hmm. With fast track, they got a trade representative who goes out there. They're going to negotiate. A czar. This. Exactly. They're going to no go negotiate this in secret. They're going to get hit with this. 3,000 page million word document if the other if the other chapters are the same size they're going to have no time to consider it and it's not going to be done like a real treaty it's just going to be a simple majority and it's just going to be a simple majority of whoever's there when they if they've got enough to have a quorum we've seen that type of thing happen over and over again that's the way they got the federal reserve act passed mm -hmm. they did it you know in the holidays we saw obama sign in the ndaa with indefinite detention on new year's eve mm -hmm. they do this kind of stuff when people aren't around they fast track it it's very subversive but the more they try to become secretive about this the more obvious it is to people but, I mean, what they're doing even if we don't see the details we know exactly what exactly when i'm uh, and again i'm not tooting our horn i want to get your take on this leanne we're gonna go to break come back with calls but we're just a, a, a pro-liberty media organization. I'm an aggressive you know, leader of the organization. We've got all these great reporters and researchers and folks that send us tips. But we're, I mean, we're not that special other than the fact that we're willing to tell the truth and point out the, 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 the elephant in the room. And that's what's so crazy about this is we put out a report from a leaked document about the police illegally grabbing everybody's data. It's clearly illegal, just like the Google cars were. Mm -hmm. And the police, within six, seven hours suspend it because the city council goes you're not supposed to be doing that mm -hmm. and the police know that they've committed a crime under homeland security just because the feds told you it was okay and you watch shows like 24 where they do illegal stuff this is the real world mm -hmm. you know al-qaeda works for your bosses so it, uh, the police need to get through their head that they're part of a, of a criminal takeover but but look at how no state-run media has even covered this it really shows how controlled they are. Mm -hmm. You think they want to cover this. Right. This is bigger than the Snowden stuff. This is NSA yeah. installed, paid for snooping arms, tracking and grabbing everything you're doing, hacking your phone. Listening to you whenever you're in public. Mm -hmm. It isn't just if you're on the internet. It's like if you're microphones, around, cameras. They got microphones. Right. They got facial recognition. They got voice recognition. License plate readers. Absolutely. So this is black boxes surveillance. in your car, and they go, "Now we're going to start taxing you with it." We, we, paid, we paid in the price of the car for a mandated box that they're going to tax us with. Spice. And then we were against it. They went, don't be a conspiracy terrorist. We won't mm -hmm. tax you. Now they're like, we got them in. We're going to tax you. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, these are crooks. Yeah. Leanne, what do you think of all this? What do you think? How, how long have you been here? Because I know you already knew about a lot of this stuff. You got a journalism degree from UT. You, uh, uh, and so, so you're already a smart person. But being here eight months or so, is it eight months? Seven. Uh, so, I mean, what has it been like for you? Well, at times, when you do turn on the mainstream media or something, or even just things that are going on, it can be very discouraging because they really are ramping up the tyranny train. Like, everywhere you look, it's like, geez, where does it end? Where do the tentacles stop? But it's also because they are just turning it on, like, really getting it turned up, people are waking up. And it's like the harder they push and from every area that they're getting in and taking our, our liberties away, it is... It's making people wake up all that much faster. What does your gut tell you is going to happen? Because we've all had private discussions around here about just leaving the country, but there's nowhere to run. That's right. Yeah, there's nowhere to go because just like the TPP, this is this is 
pushing out the same types of things that they've gotten done that are really bad, like what they've done with the pharmaceutical companies, Evergreening, for example. We're going to skip this break, by the way. We're going to skip this break. Um, go ahead. I was just... But, you know, we, we, we're one of only two countries that has any patents on surgical procedures. And so now they're going to push this out to everywhere. So where are you going to run? You can't run somewhere else. you got to try to fight it. But it's coming on very quickly. There's not much time. They've been talking about this for 60 years. They are implementing it now through the TPP and through TAFTA and these other mechanisms. And they're doing it on I have fronts. a 1937 New York Times original somewhere around here. I got it from uh, Bernadine Smith out in California that runs a Second Amendment group. I got to find that it's somewhere around and it's the New York Times. She actually bought a bunch of them and it's actual New York Times showing the 10 regions <laughs> and how it would be part of the 10 global. You have 10 global mega regions in the world government. It says world government and then 10 regions here, no more states. And it's like, wow, they're still trying to do the same plan. Yeah. But now they've got, they're doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Multi-generational, they've had this plan and they're following it through multiple generations. And we're we're at the very end of the game right now. Because you know, they don't necessarily need to do another step. As I mentioned, they've got both TAFTA and TPP. We're at the center of it. And, and for folks to know, the, the Rural Affairs Commission with the Department of Defense over it, it's there to shut down small farms. Yes. I, I mean, this is a military takeover. Yes, yes. I, I, I mean, I say that over and over again. It's, it, it is. And I'm hoping it's a systematic, scientific shutdown of human society with giant mega Walmart Command bases sucking everything dry, putting us on welfare so we can be socially engineered. I'm hoping that both the left and the right wake up to this. The left, like Occupy, a lot of them, they're looking at this and saying, well, this is corporations. Well, it's not really just corporations. I make a distinction between people that are small businesses that operate in a free market environment and between large multinational corporations that are the tail wagging the dogs of the governments that basically dictate to them the terms that they want. They will That's shut down right now. They will shut down entire industries and write regulations to do it so they can consolidate markets. Absolutely. That's criminal. Absolutely. It's, it's, it's monopolies. Exactly. Leanne? I just, I don't want to make any predictions about what's going to happen because I, I'm, I feel like it's just being too optimistic and I've really become a realist as I've gotten older. And it's sad and it's scary because they really are clamping down. They really are evil. Yeah. And, and this, this TPP is like the globalist wet dream. You know what I mean? Like this is, this is huge for them. It, if people, if there was ever a time for Americans to wake up and people around the world to wake up, it's, it's right now. It's right now. But it's like the Alamo. No matter how big the odds, you keep your head down and you go into it, right? Mm. So. But that is the issue, is, is they've already set up the system to start shutting down even the old media. And so now they're consolidating the old dinosaur media and getting them to where they will not report anything they're told. Yep. I mean, I talk to media where they'll see cops shoot somebody in the back and the newspaper says you're not going to report that. I mean, that's what's really scary is that we're getting to the point where they're really just going to start trying to take people away. And then the Civil War starts. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it's just it, to, to know that we're literally living in, the, in, in, in like 1937 Germany. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're really going into it. Well, that's why right. Lieberman and, and Rockefeller wanted to give Obama the Internet kill switch. Because they know how... And by the way, that's in is. place. They just want to yeah. say it's, it's legal. Go ahead. Well, that's what the, they know how much of an influence we have. You know, just being on the internet and not being able to go on CNN or whatever. Like, they don't even have an audience. They don't matter. We have a huge audience in Drudge and Breitbart and these other, organ you know, the authentic media. Our voices are being heard. People are listening, and that scares them. And, and I'll tell you what's going to happen, too. When the Republican puppets get back in, the ones who are trying to shut down the real libertarian elements of the Tea Party, it's not going to work this time. Mm -mm. Glenn Beck has already said, I'm not a Republican anymore, I'm a libertarian, because he realizes that's where it's all gone. Mm -hmm. And it's the same thing across the board. We are winning the intellectual battle. Yes. yes. Notice our talking points that are based on real research mm -hmm. are now becoming the talking points, not because we were even that special, but because we were willing to fight and tell the truth, and I built a platform. Mm -hmm. My yeah. audience built a platform. Mm -hmm. you got people like Sensenbrenner, who was introduced the Patriot Act, he wrote other, many other uh, instruments of tyranny. He actually suggested <laughs> that journalists be prosecuted under the Espionage Act of 1917 a, a year ago. But now, this last week, he went to the European Union and he's talking trash about the NSA police state. So even he sees the handwriting on the wall. Mm -hmm. But 
you can't necessarily believe that he's been reformed. Sure, that's like Kerry Kerry saying he doesn't believe Oswald acted alone. That's right. I, I mean, we, we've won the fight intellectually, but the bully doesn't care. No. He'll lock us up and... and I don't think we're going to be able to reform it at the top. I think what it's going to boil down to is going to be people refusing to go along with it. It's going to be the police standing down, just like the East German police refused to shoot people that were crossing over the wall. It's going to be that type of thing, like Stuart Rose has talked about, like you've talked about. It's also going to be people standing up in juries and refusing to convict people and send people to jail for these crimes. Let me say this. If I wanted to be a big sensation hero as a stunt, I would get on an airplane, I'd fly to Seattle with a film crew, I'd get up with a stepladder and I'd bash one of those things with a baseball bat. <laughs> they would arrest me. That's the new Rosa Parks. Now, I'm not telling listeners to go do that. I'm just saying we have the moral authority. Whoever starts going after these 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 probe droids, mm -hmm. these 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 that we paid for that are meant to rob our freedom and track us. I mean, imagine, I guarantee you there are thousands of folks in Seattle listening to us right now. What if they just started showing up and smashing them with, with baseball bats? And I'm not calling for that. <laughs> I don't agree with the founding fathers that hung up posters against the king. They should have submitted to the king. <laughs> and I don't agree with Rosa Parks. She should have sat at the back of the bus and shut up. I, I don't think you should stand up against any of this and go out there uh, right now. I mean, I mean, it's not like I've ever gone or anybody else around here has ever gone to billboards around town and climbed up at night and spray painted them or anything. People always say, like, I just want to see some action. Folks, I was out taking action this morning. Because <laughs> 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 let me tell you, it feels so good to take physical action. And um, anyways, I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> well, that's, that's what it's going to take. It's going to take people at the grassroots level standing up and doing something because Washington is obviously too corrupt. And we've got these phony people. You can even see Feinstein coming out and saying that she's she's upset about this. Come on. She's part of this. She's been on top of this. She knows all about it. And we've seen head fakes from her with the NDA before. There, there There's some phony stuff going on up there. I don't know any of them that we can trust. And certainly you've got this massive bureaucracy that just keeps going. Oh, no, 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 exactly. Look at Obama with NDAA. He says, I'm not going to sign it. Don't create opposition against it. Turns out he wrote it. Mm -hmm. Then he says, oh, I won't sign it now that it's passed. Signs it. It's all about betrayal. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then he gets politically destroyed. Doesn't matter. That was his job. They said, you're going to take the blame. You ready? Then they'll resuscitate him and he'll get, you know, the next time there's a flood in Haiti, he'll get $100 million and keep it like Bill Clinton. Exactly. Well, and so a, both on Obamacare and this TPP, hopefully people can see that now with Obama. Mm -hmm. Anything else, Leanne? Last word? Well, Rand Paul had a was saying at some forum this week that Obama actually wrote the part in Obamacare that takes the people's insurance away from them. No, no, he did. <laughs> see, I used to think he was a total puppet. Now I've done more research because it's leaked. He stays up late screwing his own people. Oh, yeah. Like, like, and, 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 and I... I'm so different from this that I've never really understood it, but now I get the mindset. Cheating people is like the thrill. Great job, guys. I know you're going to get more articles out with Kurt Nemo, more on the Nightly News with Jakari Jackson hosting. Great job. Leanne McAdoo and David Knight. Keep it up. All right, we're going to go to break. I promise. Come back and do nothing but take your phone calls, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but listen, we are so blessed to be here. This is so rare, so historical, the position we're in. I have an incredible responsibility. And I know as a top general in this fight that that uh, I shouldn't be, you know, out doing the things I'm doing and admitting some of the things I do. But at this point, I just got to be honest, people. It feels so good to take physical action, ladies and gentlemen. And and that's the only way I can sleep at night is if I if, if, is if I physically make scenes in stores about vaccines is if I physically you know d deface propaganda that I paid for I'm sick of the abuse I'm taking my freedom back and 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 that's where it's at okay because because people think man that's work you know to, to climb up on something at 5 a.m. I can't help it okay that's the point is that's why I'm still alive it's why I have energy is I'm not laying down and dying folks and it's not work to fight tyranny. It's like saying it's work to breathe. It ain't work, it's living here. That's what I'm telling you. We're going to break, coming back with your calls, please. Don't forget to, to help capitalize our operation. Buy your war bonds, the books, the t-shirts, the best films, the best materials, uh, the best supplements, you name it. Infowarslife.com, infowarsstore.com. We got more. Uh, again, I talked to doctors, researchers, medical people, you name it. I said, what is the best thing with this increased radiation in the atmosphere? And they said, nation iodine, but it's hard to find the real stuff. I did deep research, found the best stuff, tried some others. Unfortunately, they tasted like rocket fuel, made me feel sick. Not this stuff. We are the only folks putting this out nationwide. They expanded the laboratory that's been there 40 years. 
20 years, 21 years with this patented uh, proprietary. And we have it available at InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWars Life Survival Shield, nascent iodine dietary supplement. Oh, Leanne, I forgot you told me during the break. What has it done for you in a month? Just briefly, this, this wasn't planned. Uh, tell folks real fast. Well, uh, Dr. Group said one of the main things would be clarity. So that was like, ooh, I'm sold. I, I want clarity. And one of the things that fluoride in the water does is it calcifies your pituitary gland, which some And the pineal. The pineal gland, sorry. My bad. The but, but what has it done for you? Just eye, it has made me have so much clarity where it's if I can put my sentences together, it's I don't have to search for words and names that I couldn't remember. Well, you were always sharp, but I do see a difference. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. Folks, I'm telling you, look, 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 just try it. And even if you don't like it, which you, I, I know you will, it supports the broadcast, InfoWarsLife.com. Take the taste challenge. Take it for a month. See what happens. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.